All right, guys, today I want to talk about my Firefly 338 semi hollow body guitar. Now, this is one that you can get on Amazon for about $140. And I've actually already reviewed this guitar, but I did that review about two years ago. And there are a lot of people who have been interested in these guitars, and so I want to do a two year ownership follow up of this Firefly guitar. Now, like I said, very, very affordable. These cost right around $140, $150, right in that range. You can find them on Amazon. And a big issue with these guitars, not with the guitars themselves, but a big issue that people have is just trying to uh, get the guitars because they always go out of stock so quickly. Now, I think there are some of them in stock right now. As always, I'll have links in the video description below. But just keep in mind, if they are out of stock when you're watching this video, they will be back in stock eventually. And and the link I have down there, again, that link will work eventually when they come back in stock. So you don't have to tell me that it says unavailable or something like that. I'm, I'm aware of that issue. Just give it a few weeks, maybe a month, and there will probably be some more back in stock. So the main thing I want to address in this video is the durability of this guitar. Because sometimes I get comments from people where they're really degrading inexpensive guitars. And they usually say something like, well, it might be a nice guitar now, but give it a year and it's going to be falling apart. The fretboard will delaminate and the neck will warp and it won't even be playable. So don't waste your money on it. Well, I hate to burst your bubble of guitar negativity, but this guitar has held up incredibly well over the past two years. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I did change the pickups in it. I changed the pickups to a pair of Dragonfire AL2s. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link for that in the description. But to be totally honest, I just did that because I wanted to test the pickups out. There was nothing wrong with the pickups that it had before. And when I took the old pickups out, I found out that they were actually wax potted, which I hadn't realized before. So uh, they would work great if you're playing at loud volumes or something like that, where you want to avoid feedback. The existing pickups were really pretty good. I have had literally zero issues with this guitar, and I definitely haven't had any problems like the neck warping or frets lifting or anything like that. Now look guys, come here, c c come here a little closer. I understand that back in the summer of 1984, you had a bad experience with a inexpensive guitar and it has scarred you since then. But here's the thing, we live in a different time now and inexpensive guitars today are actually really good. In fact, I would argue that a cheap guitar today that costs $150 or $200 is about the same quality as a guitar that might have cost six, seven, or even $800 20 or 30 years ago. Okay, now one other thing I do want to mention is that the guitar I have here, because I bought this back in 2017, uh, it's slightly different than a brand new Firefly guitar that you might buy right now. The horns are a little bit different, and also they have a lot of other finishes out now, which are really cool. They've got a really nice gold top one, which looks really cool. From what I can tell uh, from watching other reviews and, and reading uh, posts on Facebook groups that follow these guitars, uh, the guitars have only gotten better since I got this one back in 2017. And I was pretty blown away with it even back then. I think still for $140 or $150, this is probably the best buy that you can get. All right, but now I know a lot of you guys out there who are watching this video and who are following the channel, I know a lot of you own these guitars. So I would love to hear from some of the other owners of the Firefly guitars, uh, this model, the 338, or the Thinline style, uh, Telecaster style that I reviewed a few weeks ago. I I'd love to hear what you guys think of all those guitars. Now this guitar has some really good tones in it, but it's also surprisingly easy to play. The neck here is uh, it's surprisingly thin and very, very comfortable. So of course you can 
plug it in and play some nice sort of bluesy or jazz, you know, nice clean tones, but you can also crank up the gain and play some heavier stuff as well. <laughs> Now guys, as always, I'll put some links in the video description below. You can access that if you're on a mobile with the drop-down menu, little drop-down arrow on the right-hand side, or if you're on a desktop or laptop or something, you can hit the More Info tab below and check out all those links. You know, I'll put some, some links down there for the other colors they have available and that kind of thing. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.